A differential pressure switch compares two pressures and acts on the difference in pressure. When the set differential pressure is exceeded, the contact system is active. In our example, we'll be demonstrating how to set up a Danfoss differential pressure switch for falling pressure applications. We've chosen an RT262A with a measuring range of 0.1 to 1.5 bar and a mechanical differential of 0.1 bar. First, remove the cover. Inside, you can see that it is an RT262A, and at the bottom of the switch, you can see the unique code number. Here, you can set the required differential pressure with the setting disk, while at the same time read the scale. RT262A covers the range from 0.1 to 1.5 bar. In this example, we'll set the level to 0.5 bar. In the instructions, you will find the table where you can read which mechanical differential level corresponds to the required levels needed. The RT262A breaks at a differential pressure of 0.5 bar and makes a differential pressure plus contact differential equal 0.5 bar plus 0.1 bar equaling 0.6 bar. Let's look at the cutoff for falling pressure. When the pressure passes the lower set point, contacts one and two make and contacts one and four break. When the pressure rises to the upper set point, the contacts change over to the initial position. Contacts one and two break and contacts one and four connect. If you want to learn more about Danfoss differential pressure switches, please visit our website, Support Made Easy,